This is Earth. The planet where you are born, probably. Even though space is just 100 kilometers away, there is a big chance that everything you will do and see in your life will take place on this ball. There is this one big star we see every day. We cannot live without its light. It is our sun. The sun is gigantic compared to our Earth. Its mass represents 99.86% of the total mass of our solar system. That is the same as 330,000 Earths together. The light coming from the sun is caused by billions of explosions. To create the same effect, you'd need to drop the Tsar Bomba at 20 billion times per second. This impressive star is surrounded by nine planets. The third dot is where you live. Even though this picture represents the scale of the planets, the distance is still not correct. Let's have a look at the true scale of our solar system. Now, the distances are correct, but the size of the sun and planets is too big. If the true scale and distance were shown in the same image, you would see nothing but the small point of light. The furthest humanity has ever come into space is the Voyager 1. This space probe is the first object that has left our solar system. It is located at 149 astro units from the Sun. To give you an idea, the distance between the Earth and the Sun is only one astro unit. As we zoom out even further, we find the Milky Way. Light travels a hundred thousand years to get from one side to the other. It is estimated that this is the home of at least 150 billion stars. It seems like there's nothing outside our galaxy, but this is not the furthest we can go. When we look at the fuzzy circle of a distant galaxy, we are seeing light that left its source at least 2 million years ago. It is our sister galaxy, Andromeda. The Milky Way and Andromeda form, together with 52 other galaxies, the local group. This group is 10 million light years across. When we zoom out a bit more, we see the Virgo supercluster. With the size of 110 million light years, this supercluster contains more than 100 other galaxy groups. The Virgo supercluster is only a small part of an even larger Laniakea supercluster. And this is just a sand grain in the universe. What you see right now is two trillion galaxies, and the Milky Way is one of them. Still, this is not everything. 27% of the universe is dark matter, and 68% is dark energy. Both are invisible, which means, we are only able to see 5% of the universe. On top of that, we don't know what dark matter and dark energy are, except it's there. Because of dark energy, the universe expands faster than the speed of light. This means that light coming from stars at the edge of the universe will never reach Earth. So there is literally nothing we can see. We don't know what lies beyond the border of the observable universe. And we will never know. Thanks for watching. I hope this video gave a good impression of the immense size of the universe. There is still so much to discover, and there always will be. But wait a minute. Pluto? You are not a real planet. You are a dwarf planet. Get out, you bastard.